what your choices have been and what karmic timelines and contracts you have journeyed, the light is calling for the reunification of all aspects of life in this realm now. It is calling for the cleansing of all polarities. It is calling for the rising of all sacred heart centers now. All are being summoned home to the greater light now. Welcome everyone to Whole Soul Mastery and Whole Soul School and Foundations Joint Podcast today, where we are all journeying again. We're going to journey again with Dr. Terry Cole Whitaker into the realm of being spiritual seekers and spiritual sleuths of truth, the absolute truth. My name is Marie Moeller, and I'm an author, intuitive, and a messenger of the powerful journeys we all engage to integrate and to live our Whole Soul Mastery, our truest talents and the joy of true self-expression. And I want to welcome you, Dr. Terry, to our podcast today where we're going to explore a topic that we seed planted in our last podcast, which was Mm -hmm. prosperity in changing times. And Mm -hmm. in that podcast, you talked about your teacher who was questioned by some students about what he was teaching and what another teacher or guru down the street was basically teaching And his Mm -hmm. response was, they're doing that. We're doing this. Yes. And we're going to delve deeper into that topic today, right? How we are it. We're the one who's Mm -hmm. doing. We're the one Mm -hmm. experiencing it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you've asked the question in the last podcast, and I'm going to bring it up again today. The question you asked, which is a great question, (laughs) what are you doing, right? (laughs) All the way you Right. So, so welcome. Let me invite you to to share some thoughts on that. <laughs> oh, goody! It's me. It's Terry. I guess I, that's just a name because it's not. You know, we have a lot of names. So people say, "Oh, I am that name." Well, no, you're not the name. It's a pointer to you to where to send the mail. <laughs> but yeah, you can have any name you want. I used to be called that woman by a lot of people. I was called the wild woman of God of the wild for some people. But yeah, I've had a lot a lot of names. Grandma, I love that one. <laughs> and I was also called the high priestess of yuppie dumb. Oh wow. that was that was one of my titles that somebody gave me, yeah. The high priestess of yuppie dumb. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> And see, what happens is most people get, I used to be so upset when people would say things or criticize, really sensitive about, you know, like most of us are, are sensitive like that. And always worried about what other people are thinking. What are they doing? What are they going to say? Do they like me? Don't they like me? What, it's all about them. And, and then what we do is get distracted by celebrities yeah. and sports figures and politicians and royals and homeless and, this cause and that cause and this fire all the time to keep everybody, "Ah, what am I going to do? It keeps us focused on what they're doing. So guess what? What they're doing gets bigger because all of us God particles are, are agreeing and focused as if that's truth and reality when that simulation simulation that is predictive programming just like a weather forecast they always make it bigger so you believe it and it never will be as big as they say or they talk about because they get our energy to do that because insect or reptile mentality or whatever it is can't match us no technology has what we have ever no quantum computer as big as as big as the world is bigger than what you can do you see because who we are absolutely they're doing that now let's find out what we're gonna do (laughs) so good right Mm -hmm. it's such a good question what are you Mm -hmm. doing and it's right it's we are. We're we're creators. <coughs> We've said this before. You know this, Terry. That we are. We're uh-huh. creating all the time. 
A lot of times people are creating unconsciously. They don't know their own power. So when they're giving their attention to all the things that they see on Mm -hmm. the news or or they, you know, just drama in their own lives and people talk about it and, and then share it with their friends who share it with their friends, that kind of gossiping or that kind of, that's energy right. focus it is creationary it's creating it's their because life. agreement it's yeah because agreement yeah. creates reality and that means even when you get your conscious and your subconscious mind to agree you're going to manifest that and it's like what a lot of people like because you know you and i we've, we've probably got into metaphysics and all all that because of manifestation and wanting to have a good life and wanting to be happy and you know and and we were we were uh, uh uh attracted to metaphysics because we've done this many lifetimes and right. at the same time we're picking up where we left off because that wasn't the fullness of what's possible because these problems are still going on in our lives and that's what i found when i got to kind of like you might call the top of my game from the ministry and television ministry and all of that was to, in fact, Gavin McLeod, who is a friend of mine, he's an actor who was in uh, The Love Boat, and Mm. he invited me to be, uh, ride with him in this Santa Claus parade, I think it was after Thanksgiving, Hollywood parade around Christmas time, and they'd have celebrities and that, so I, I, you know, so I'm sitting with him on the back of the convertible, you know, as we're waving at the people by the sidelines, and, and and I looked at these people, the looks on their faces were as if we were somebody special. And these were, no, they were nobody. It broke my heart. So mm. I just started bowing to everybody. I'm never crazy. I'm not going to parade around like this again. This is ridiculous. And they're all there like, oh, I wish I could be that. I wish I could do that. I want that for myself. And that's how it's all done out there is we're shown all of these things that we get attracted to from our senses because our senses want to taste the objects of our senses. The eyes want to see certain things that we like. The the tongue wants to taste and it wants to say things. The um, genitals want to feel. The ears want to hear the music or whatever, or you don't want to hear it because somebody said it. So it's like our 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 senses are 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 controlling. See they that book that came out, what was it called? Attraction or something, like the art of attraction or something like that. Actually it was it was the they wrote it maybe purposely. It's the wrong way. Things are not attracted to us. We mm-hmm. are attracted to something. We focus on it and we go get it. But and at the same time when you're open to something you're gonna see more opportunities because now you know something is there, you're going to notice it where before when you didn't know it was there, you would not notice it, you see? Because right. you have to have the suggestion first that something is possible before we even open ourselves to that. And that will trigger then perhaps soul memory because mm. in the, 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 the subtle mind, mind intelligence and false ego, the subtle mind travels with us from lifetime to lifetime because it's the vehicle that we're using to pretend that we have these lives mm. <laughs> in wow. our mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. I know. I know. But, we, <laughs> but, you know, it is such a journey, isn't it, from waking yeah. up to thinking mm-hmm. that the things happen to us right, that they were like mm-hmm. a victim of our circumstances. A lot of us, mm-hmm. before we know mm-hmm. any better, you know, are conditioned mm-hmm. into that world that the life is happening to you. And then when mm-hmm. you wake up to some metaphysical principles, which many mm-hmm. of us listening to a podcast like this would have yeah. found their way to yeah. that, and then we explore that journey of like how fun it is to That's create, right. whether it's to attract a cup of coffee or a tea or a meeting that we want or Well, what it happens is you open yourself to the possibilities and then have the desire. See, that's why you don't, if you did, and that's why even what you don't want comes because Mm. people, people make them and the other thing real because now I don't want it. So if you don't want it, you're going to get it. Mm. (laughs) it, It's a tricky thing. It's like a Mexican finger puzzle. Have you ever seen those little, those little things made of a straw? You stick your fingers in one side or the other. It's made of straw. It's like a little tube. Now you try and pull your fingers out. 
but the straw stretches and keeps hold of your fingers. You can't get your oh. fingers out by trying to get out. You have to push it close and push all of the, um, so that you put it back in its loose place and then the fingers just come out. You see, wow, but that's it, a good it, analogy of like people could get stuck yes. in manifesting, oh, yeah. you know, one on one when, you know, there's much more to the picture of life that exists. Oh, yeah. but, because it's your quality. It, yes, it's your quality of being. And what happens is this, you know, in my book, Live Your Bliss, where I, I'm uh, exploring the hermetic axioms. And mm. those are given to us by Toth, who's the Egyptian thought. Toth is thought. T H O U G H T is thought talk, but it's also he thought this up. Okay, and mm. and then he then they would call her. Then the Greeks would call him Hermes. They they did it. This is talk, and he wrote the seven Hermetic axioms, and that is to show how this place functions. And we mentioned that we talked about the last blog about this, but it's in the book Live Your Bliss, because your your life starts at bliss. Bliss isn't something you work for to attain. It's something you have when you let go of all the non-bliss. You see, mm. when when you let go of all the, the, the suffering, the pain, all of this stuff, and what happens with people, I had this one uh, student I was working with, and what we really needed to do was to to strategize for her career and her work and everything. But also, you have to have a great attitude and thing, and what and that takes work. And so, what happens is a lot of people they want uh, you they want something instantly to happen, and manifestation is instant. This, when your conscious and your subconscious are aligned, that means you have no opposition to what you say you want or do. It's going to manifest. It's going to manifest instantly because all manifestation mm -hmm. is instant. And so what people are then trying to do is um, say what they don't want. I don't want that. And and my my book, it's still out there. It's excellent for people to get it. It's Dare to be Great. And I write in there, that book, everything that worked for me to go from, you know, a single mom, divorced mom with two kids and no job, not knowing where I'm going to, you know, this huge ministry that was built with five teaching centers and television international, all of these things. Actually, only one minister ever asked me what I did to attain it also. And I would have told everybody, but they never even asked. You see, because they can't conceive of that for themselves. They can't get it. They can't. They can't wrap their self around it because they are so afraid of failure. They're so afraid of what other people are going to think. People are going to criticize you no matter what you do. This world, they're going to keep fighting forever in this world because this is how this world is created. But that isn't the real world. This is the the simulation, the mm. virtual reality. Uh, overlay curtain. It's like a theater production. Like they close the curtain and on the front of the curtain now what you're getting is your own reflection of your consciousness. Okay? That's mm. coming. To, don't call it bad or good. Because like you think, oh, somebody will say, well, how come you're living like that? I mean, you should have a palace. So, no, 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 no. You know how much time it takes to t maintain a palace? <laughs> That's all you do. Interesting, huh? Nobody, people, you got to catch the news when it's there. It's gone the next minute. The truth is fleeting <laughs> amidst all the illusion, right? Yes. <laughs> those paying attention, yes. those paying attention, see and hear. Yeah, because you're looking for clues, people. You think if, if you observe patterns, if you observe what's going on, there's no secrets. Not that they're shouting it from the hilltops, but that's what study does. That's what really, it's not about, oh, person, oh I read the book. Oh, I know that. I know that's one of the discouraging things sometimes working with people because, you know, they go, oh, yeah, I know that. No, they don't know that. They're mouthing it, but they don't know it because you didn't know it. You'd be manifesting it. What does that mean? And, and that means you're doing your life's work. You're with God. You're happy. You're joyful. And what what was OK, this person I was I was working with, so many issues are in her mind. She couldn't get herself into a place of happiness and gratitude and bliss because of what's going on in her life. And people say, yeah, but when, when this is, 
when this is solved, when we get back to normal, when when I get married or when I get divorced or when I have children or when I get rid of children, when I get old, when I die, when I get my next life, when I go, then it's got to, no. Right now, if you want a good life, you have to be there now. You have, Because if you're letting the outer world control you, your outer world is your own world of effects that you cause. And here mm. everything is cause and effect, and you have to always balance the scale. That's what money is about. It's you have to balance the ledger, positive and negative, all the time. So it's like a seesaw. You go up. When you go up, you go, just like why gambling is so bad, someone always loses. Those mm. people doing the lottery. How did how did Jeffrey Epstein win ninety yes. million dollars on the lottery? Right. <laughs> yeah, he bought he bought a one dollar ticket at the Seven Eleven. Yeah, oh my God, of course. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. And I have mm. to tell you, I I me I'm very not I was very naive, very trusting, very uh, lack of discernment because metaphysics didn't teach discernment. Mm. And when it teaches you love everybody, and and yeah, but why would you want to be with everybody? Tell me that. That's a big That's, one, Terry, because a lot of people are living yeah. there, that they don't want right. to see the bad things. They don't want to know uh-huh. about the uncomfortable truth, no. and they just want to love it into light, right? It doesn't what? go to, it just, they're in a whole different world, both of them. You can't mm. turn evil into good. Mm. <laughs> you can't. You have to be good because that's who you are. Mm, you have to funny. acknowledge that and bring it forth regardless of the conditions you're in. But one time I took a, I used to take groups, which was great, to, to all these sacred places, that, you know, great fun and wonderful around the world. So we yeah. took, we went to England, went to Glastonbury. It was really fun, you know, and our, we had a really great guide. And he had been in a prison in Turkey, I think, or hung, wherever it was, where that same man who wrote, I think, The Midnight Express or something, and it was in a movie of where he was in a prison, like a communist prison, whatever it was. So he had like a, 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 a marijuana cigarette that he'd had on his body, got caught, and he was put in, in a jail, the prison there. And someone said to, there, said, well, so you've got two choices here. You can try and fight this all the time, or you can go meditate and go back to God. So he chose to meditate, and he 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 transformed his experience, and so it became a good experience for him because he used it that way to, to what he wanted. But when I had my uh, church in San Diego, um, there were a couple of these two little guys, little home kind of homeless guys, but you could tell they had maybe really sweet souls but didn't have a lot of uh social skills or able to you know hold a corporate job or they couldn't do those kind of things and they had these little jackets on they would come up at the end of my service and i would stand on the the edge of the stage and i'd shake their hand and talk to them they were just sweetest guys so one sunday only one guy came and he said my friend is in prison they said jail i said oh great well, not great, but, you know, usually I say great anyway, because there'll be an opportunity there. So never say bad, you know, say, oh, great, great. Right. What are you going to do about it? You know, so anyway, the next week they were there. He he was there and he said, I visualize myself out. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the truth. Yeah, And that's you know why truth. it worked? Because he's simple. He's simple. He didn't try and mm. figure it out. There's two of us there's, that that do that. The, the 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 mentally challenged and geniuses. Oh yeah. Right. You can't hardly tell the difference. <laughs> there were people in my partner's program that she ran in the federal prison system did the same uh-huh. exact thing when they now she taught some metaphysical principles, but essentially just introduced them to the concept that they're the creators of their lives. And right. several of them during the time she was there. Mm-hmm. literally manifested instant release because they kept mm-hmm. it simple mm-hmm. because they kept mm-hmm. it simple they they aligned that's they aligned. right 
and they uh, they knew it was possible. See, that's the heaven is, and it's so interesting. People will automatically say, well, that's not possible. All things are possible, depending mm-hmm. on your consciousness. You have yes. to work for it. You and I never stop studying and right. and practicing this because we're using it for ourselves. And then we want, and then we're sharing it with people we love, and we want everybody to have this good. And we're open, and we're learning, and we're growing, and we're realizing. And daily, it's like, and I know that for me because I know that for you too. Because our realizations of yesterday are so profound, we can't even remember them because they're so integrated already that we're there, and then that opens us up for the next level. Yes, and, and you you can't get beyond the mind until you control it, because the the mind won't let you dip into the divine. It won't let you because it's not designed that way. It's actually designed to stop you and to depower you and 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 dumb you down as much as possible with fear mm. and guilt and it's and the, this- the, the fear of death is is over everybody if, and that's why i work on you got to prepare for that you got to know what it is you got to have it so you have you're going to have a little bit of fear of the unknown or whatever but you you've done this since the beginning of time every mm. kind that you got in the game you got in the thing and then the door closed on you in the mind so now we've got to use our feminine wiles, intuition, the sacred feminine. And this is what is being tried to destroy in the entire world is basically the mother of the uh, of, of, of the sacred feminine. It's not the dressing up and running around with lipstick, high heels, you know, and painted toenails and hair and ha ha ha, you know, that's not a woman. That's just show business. Anybody, that's just dressing up and showing and playing and blah, blah, blah. That's fine. Go play. Have some fun. That's not a woman and it's not a man. And what that is, is we are divine beings. We are God particles. So we're made in the image and likeness of the divine on all levels, even with our bodies. These bodies are perfectly designed. And our body is the temple of the living God. Most people that look what they're doing to their bodies out there, doing this and 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 I did too. I didn't know your body is your book of your life. When you look at people, watch, look people in the market, what they've got in their sharp shopping cart. Now look at their body; they're identical. Mm. <laughs> they're identical. The body is the uh, book of your life, and wow. who's really good good about this is is Asher. Uh, Dr. Asher and his book, The Land of Meat and Honey, and also his book on the Essenes, because the, he, he's researched, the Essenes are the original Hebrews. I'm an mm. Essene bishop. A Hebrew is not a species. Hebrew is, uh, is a name of human, just like the, the word, the Aryan, the Aryan, Aryan. A-R-Y-A-N. They're not, they weren't, a, they weren't, a, 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 there was no uh, Aryan invasion because the Aryans were not bad people. See, that's if you don't, the person doesn't know history and not the history you're given in schools, but to actually do your research, what every, all these others that's gone in any kind of an educational system and, and books and, and, and all of this that's written by those who own the publishing. Just like when I first started writing, writing books, which, which was my first one, What You Think of Me is None of My Business, which is going great because it's such a wonderful book. It's a, it's a new edition that's out there for people to get. But Oak Tree was a little publishing company. They did it first in La Jolla in San Diego. Then it went, I think, to Scribner's and then it went, to, no, it went to a, another one and then it went to another one and another, another one and, and another one because they buy up all the little publishers. You see, and then they take them and take them and take them. And then you can, could be the Carlisle company could own all that. But then, of course, then Black Rock would be the managers of it, you see, because right. the Black Rock doesn't have money itself. They manage all the money and tell everybody what they can do with it, you see. Right. Oh, yeah, I know. So and then, all they tell, that, then they determine what gets published in the end. Once they get big enough, powerful enough, they they determine what what uh, you know exactly. what gets into print. 
Yeah, that's why you have to you have to self publish, really. If you yes. because even even my book Live Your Bliss, I had some challenges because I wasn't as bitey as I usually am, but really get to it because oh, that's not true. There is no they out there. Oh yes, there is. Are you kidding? <laughs> There's a big they out there, and it isn't me. Yet it's in my mind, but it's not me. But you're also talking about the power of choice at the soul level. What is it that you want? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> right? What are you choosing? Yeah. What are you right. choosing? And and w like you're saying, because everything is possible, it's mm -hmm. all a matter of your consciousness that allows it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you well, have to find out how they did it. That's why we study. We I want to know what other people did that reached what I had. And then so do you. And that's why. So we have something other people want because we already have it. You see, and then but we are offering it as teachers to other people. But we may not want what other people want. Like some people, they think success is having a hundred million dollar property, and you have all this, but you have to take care of it. You have to do that. I didn't want. I had a huge company, uh, uh, the Terry Cole Whitaker Ministries. It was huge. It yeah. had uh, 40 employees. Oh, my God, I'm doing all of this stuff. And then when I get to it and I realize there's something wrong here, I mm -hmm. there's something I need. I, my spirituality was more important than anything. So you go, I've got to leave this. I've got to go find, I've got to go find God. Yeah. Wow. How and many people, people say, well, have the courage yeah. to do it? How many people have the courage yeah. to leave things that they've built to say, I know. It's, this isn't where it is. There's more. There's something there's missing more. or there's something That's more, right. and I'm going to go seeking it. A lot of, That's right. A lot of people won't make that choice. No, because they're, they're, only if you know what you really are doing and you want, and that comes maybe for lifetimes or if you're working on it, you, 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 because it's just like people who are attracted to what we're attracted to, this isn't their first go-round. It's multiple. Mm -hmm. It could be people say, oh, this is their first life. What are you talking about? You've been here. When I saw one of my students and friends, and we were we were kind of meditating but talking God talk because that's what we do all the time. And I looked at him, and all of a sudden God showed me all of his faces, all of his bodies that he'd had since the beginning of time. And there, everyone was a thin veil, but it was the was the faith and there were mm -hmm. men women creatures animals all kinds of stuff even because we came here how we got in it we wanted to taste materialism you see yes yeah. we we wanted to have the experience and we fell basically one of us or some and i've got stuff i won't get into it but you fall into ignorance, into the abyss of, of the darkness of ignorance. And then that means because when you envy God, you want to be God. And basically, as we can see what's going on, people want to kill God because we're God particles. So it's it's a mass desire to, to kill, basically, God particles and to uh, eliminate the woman. So they can then just have people in laboratories or they use women for when they want them for different things. And I was looking at a group of people, really, I love the, the teaching, but then you know, I looked at the people that are there because they can't honor the woman. They can't honor the, the feminine, the sacred. There's no sweetness. They look like the old dried up men at an old uh, men's club somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, it looks sad. There was, cause it was such a fun, fun uh real spirituality is fun you're singing you're dancing for god you're cooking for god you're you're having festivals you're ha you're see everybody should be singing you know you look at all these people that show up one of these big huge concerts to listen to somebody else sing you're supposed to sing <laughs> your body right. your voice your vo your body is a manifesting machine built on sound your bones are the crystal. With God, God gives you everything. All God asks is that you love God and take care of the garden. And then the fruit falls off the tree. And the mother cow, the cow is God's greatest creation.
gives you milk, cream, yogurt, ghee, um, uh, uh, kefir, butter. Uh, uh, it's healing. And every if the, if the cow has to be healthy and taken care of. And look, okay, her urine. When I get malaria or I get typhoid in India or, or whatever, because it's rampant, you, you don't eat grapes, <laughs> whatever. I would go into the cow shed, collect female cow pee, drink it, and I am well 100% in the morning, no fever, no sickness, nothing. Wow. And then it produces a cow manure made of grass, dry it, it will cook longer and, and hotter than wood, it will cook your food. You put it down and mix it with clay, you place it on the walls of your home, it disinfects it, gives it the view. People, have no idea and as your body is the temple of the living god it's a manifesting machine the the bones in your body are are made of stones when mm. you take your shoes off and and you walk in in the sand by in, in the river with clay the mother earth will with that clay will take out all of the bad stuff and rebuild your bones see because wow, this, 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 this is the way it really is and yeah. it's, what's so powerful, and, and I think we also talked about yesterday, was, you know, this the going back to the the woman. It's the feminine yes. it's that the mind mm-hmm. is what is the masculine, but it's the mind lives Heart, in a box yes. and, it, and and That's serves right. the it serves yes. the matrix or the serpent, whatever yeah. you want to call these or, nefarious or practical entities. practical things. Because their job is also take care of the women and the children, and the women's job is to take care of the children, the mate and the family, and they take care of the garden. You know what, when you really look at what's beautiful, do you think it's really a bunch of neon flashing signs in Las Vegas is pretty? Yeah. Give me, give me a river and a pond and give me some little animals walking around and, you know, really breathing, feeling the, the sun and the earth and the, uh, bare feet on the soil. You see, right. and the see all we and it, what people don't realize we we can live on fruit and milk. That's why they demonize milk. That's why they demonize women. That's why they demonize cannabis. That's why they demonize everything that's natural and good, and they make a synthetic for you so they can charge you a lot of money. So they own when it was so already given for free. When it was already available. Yeah. Freely. Yes, all free. And what they do, how they do that is through the word. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God and is God. They've made the word superior to you. The word then is made into law and rules that can do anything that those who make the laws and rules want to because it's legal. Because before it wasn't legal, We'll make it legal because we'll put it in the words and then the words are the law. No. No, 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 no. How do people reclaim the word? Well, what you have to do, use the words that you want to manifest and you Mm. want, but you also know the word isn't it. It's really the feeling. This is all feeling. And you have to feel good first. Mm. See, people want to say, I'll feel bad when. No, no, it won't happen that way. you got to feel good first. And they say, well, I'm not. No, you're not because you're judging how you feel by the weather or judging how you feel by how other people are, judging by you, if you, how you got this and this and this and this and this and this. And, this. and you're worried about what all those. Here's this thing when I'm looking at. There is so much within each of us to, to experience and express. And, and the most thing, we all want to be happy. We have loved and prosperous, you know, feel good, and all, all that. That's natural to us. But we're torturing ourselves in the mind. And the mind is the greatest terrorist weapon ever invented. It's designed to torture you and make you die, basically. If we could really tell the truth out there, and you got some good comedians, you, we could be yeah. laughing this thing right off the face of the earth. That's right. I've se- I've seen some incredible shows. People talking about this that they've they've basically censored or done away with comedians because they would speak the truth in that jestful mm-hmm. way, right? That's but right. it would it would enter the psyche and the awareness of people yes. 
who are paying attention, right? Absolutely. And now you don't. Ha- we have less and less of that. They they were also infiltrated or shut down. Oh, you had to be because it's always true. See, what happens is they're making through words the truth a lie and the lie a truth. So you can't tell the truth because it's now what is the lie is the truth because it comes through repetition, hypnotic trance. It's all Mm -hmm. hypnotic trance. So that's why each of us are in charge of ourselves in that. And you have one of the first things too that people need to do they don't is to start talking to God within. Mm -hmm. Not your mind, not your thoughts, not your opinions, but do some quiet meditation and start listening. And then when you do your affirmations, those you start using words. We have to, we we're trained to use words, and so you have to and and then use them in a proper way because see words can cut and 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 hurt, but words can mm-hmm. heal because it's how people take those and understand them. And a word can you know. A word can trigger up fragrances. It, it can trigger up experience. It, all of these things because you don't forget anything. You can get everything in there, but, but most people, they don't know who they are and they're letting the current memes and narratives and stories and movies and TV and talk shows and blah, 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 going at them as if that's, that's not real. This is illusion. It's a made-up story. It's like what Dr. Seuss was showing us. I yeah. can't, was it the star-bellied sneetches? Do you remember that story where, you know, the I knew the doc- I knew. I knew Dr. Seuss. You knew Dr. Seuss? Of course, and his sweet wife, because they lived in La Jolla. And well, so I was kind of, they got me kind of in the, you know, the in-group or whatever. And so we'd be at the same table. And I thought, he was very quiet. And this, yes, he was a really nice man. She, she was real bubbly and she chatty and all the way. And he's Dr. Seuss. He's a really nice man. <laughs> well, and he was uh-huh. saying things in, in yeah. all the books he wrote. He was letting us know. He was playing with words. He yeah, wanted yeah, people yeah. to play with words. And, That's right. And, but, and in the same vein, you know, was teaching us things. Like that that story about the star bellied speeches, I don't know if you remember, but that was all about one group was this way and another group couldn't be like them and then when they got stars mm-hmm. on their bellies, the ones with stars Aww. didn't want stars on their bellies anymore. And and we realized that like you know, we all are looking for our divinity. Right. We're all looking for community and we're mm-hmm. all looking for connection. And mm-hmm. it's 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 the use of the word to divide us, but like I also like how we're bringing in here today about the comedians, when we can laugh at the theater mm-hmm. that's been done, it, it doesn't mm-hmm. have power. And the no, truth gets deeper mm-hmm. inside us or it that's emerges right. more. And we remember <laughs> mm-hmm. how it's meant to be, right? Yes, yes. We notice what feels good. When I was like at the top of the thing and, you know, all in the magazines, the newspapers, the TV, the word, and what did I start missing? taking my shoes off and walking down a country road where the dust came up from my toes and I could lie down on this, the grass and right next to the creek and lean down and drink my water. Wow. You when go, you get complex. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where's my life? Yeah. You see, right. you know what it is? You have to keep pulling yourself back to your heart and not mm-hmm. that you don't and discernment, is is a left brain kind of a thing, which is good. You see, you have to use everything together. Just like we're not opposites in, in, in the hermetic axioms in this world. They're the same, but they're different by degree. Hot and cold are two sides of the same spec uh, of the same spectrum. You see? Yes. And so everything here is cause and effect. Everything here is karma. So if you want a good life, You have to do good works, whether Mm. anybody else likes it or not. This is what we need. When you talk about women gathering at the river, it's it's the sharing of this knowledge, but it's not just from this life. It's from all of our lifetimes of experiences. And when you get that level of sharing, especially Uh Uh through the divine feminine and and the intuition, right? right. That is extra sensory abilities. Ingo Swan 
found there's at least 32, 33, 33, uh, it wasn't 30, but 32 extrasensory abilities we all have that are through our own senses. And the people are so turned off because they're in the, you're in the left brain. It's all about words. The wor mind program is words. And all those words have a number and they have a definition and a meaning that we have been given and we had to learn and then pronounce something as we've been taught to pronounce it. But if you pronounce a word in a different way, so I'll give you one example would be ridiculous. It means ridicule us. Oh, We're affirming wow. ourselves by words that are bringing forth these realities that we've been programmed to believe and align with everybody and 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 and, and say this is going to happen. Don't agree with pr pr any of these prognostications. That's not my world. No, not that I don't want them. I see what it is. My world is this. So what do we call? What are you doing? It's a constant job out there to deny. And when, 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 okay, remember I was, I was driving in Hollywood on Hollywood Boulevard years ago, and there's a great huge billboard. It's got a cop car and it's got the dog because they have like a mascot called this dog, and he's leaning against the cop car. And the and the command and program is get involved in crime. And I said I'm not. Mm. That's a program. Wow. Wow. As a program. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Crime has increased multiple yeah. times since then. Multiple times because of the program. When you look at the Ten Commandments, when they say thou shalt not kill, subconscious doesn't pick up not. Right. And we repeated it and repeated it for how many centuries? And at nobody this point, even talks right? about that. Oh, yeah. Because when you say yeah. not, it it, it 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 it's word magic. It doesn't it doesn't count. It's, it doesn't it's like register. It doesn't yeah. register. Thou shalt kill. Thou shalt covet thy neighbor's stuff. Thou shalt bear false witness. That's what's being done. Mm -hmm. we're, we're we're talking about what happens when you breathe some prana <clears throat> beyond the confines of the yeah. mind. Because mm -hmm. unless you can breathe mm -hmm. beyond that, you are mm -hmm. still in the trap and still in the matrix. That's but right. You're you, making it because it's made of words. Matrix made are of made words. of words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's and then so those words become layers and veils of 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 like that operate like a snake. It's, mm -hmm. And so you so it it gets groups of people who hide uh, and and are working on things undercover so nobody else knows what they're doing because snakes do that. They hide. Reptiles hide. So what I'm asking for, and this is what I'm looking for, and this is what I'm looking for, as 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 a as a uh, member, call it like a like a resource. I talk about like a mother resource, and you're a mother resource. And our knowledge and what we have and what we've experienced and and the things we've done with it, and we can do that and we and and work with people. That I'm looking for people who we align together. We don't, it's a non a leaderless movement. Yes. You don't, you, you know, everyone has, we need a many, each of us as a mother becomes then a resource for our children. Like, uh, like I call myself like a, 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 a spiritual, um, a mother for people because mm. I don't want, I'm not going to memorize the Shastras, all of the Sanskrit. I mean, I'd have to take another life to do all that. I don't want to do it, but it, it's like another uh, run around here but the 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 sanskrit and the language but see what we know as mothers we know the truth yes. and uh and 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 what happens is we have to know that because that's our function and yes. and we also make a home we make harmony we build love we're not we don't create disturbances mama dog in india and i had an empty lot next that i had this mama dog she made her own little cave in this dirt, in the empty thing, lay, and had her babies in there and would sit at the front of it so the other dogs and pigs and stuff and whoever the others were couldn't come kill her babies. She took care of them that way. She knew how. Oh, she didn't have to have a, take a course in motherling. No. <laughs> she didn't have to get a PhD in motherling. That's right. <laughs> No. Who's going to give you the page, the people that say, oh, uh, you memorize this. Good for you. 
people say, oh, I know that. No, you, your body is the book mm. of your life. Wow. Yeah. What was the author of that book again? His name is Smul Asher. He's Smul an Asher. amazing. Was that the Essene yeah. book or was that the Land of Milk and Honey? Both. He wrote oh. all that one and other, even World the Exodus. And what he did is his family realized we're not these kind of Jews. We're, we're Hebrews. We don't do these th other things. The eyes can not interrupted. That's not us. And so he started studying and studied and learned all the languages, found out that how there were basically two. Uh, there was the, 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 the one so-called God that said you can eat animals and the other God never. It's the everlasting agreement. All of God's creatures have free will here. You cannot stop the free will of another. Or wow. or, or or usurp it or take it away. Because wow. if you do that, will happen to you and you'll be here and you'll fall further and further into the abyss of ignorance. Because you have to take advantage of what you've got now because you really don't know that moment when when all of a sudden this drops and you're going to yes. go, oh, oh. That's why what, what we do, Marie and I, we're both reservoirs of, 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 of knowledge and a resource, yes. reservoir of our, for our students because we want to empower them to be, uh, to be the same in their group with their people. Well, I think there's so many beautiful things we're talking about. We're talking mm -hmm. about people's distractedness. We're talking mm -hmm. about the That's remedy right. for that is, dis is discernment. Yes, make your life beautiful. Stop make worrying about the neighbors and they shouldn't paint their fence that and why did they go there and start to watch how often your mind goes to everybody else, gossip, criticism, comparison, uh, hatred, comparison. comparison. Yes. Oh, yeah. And that the words, like if you said to a child, oh, oh, why don't you wise up, stupid? You never can learn anything. That becomes a command. The person then believes. And the program is, I can't do anything well because I'm stupid. The whole life. Mm. That's just words. They don't mean anything unless you give it that meaning. That's not that it doesn't mean. Uh, it's mean because it's been given to us already in school. Yeah. Yes. The meaning has been, and you had, to, yeah, I sold my soul for a Hershey bar in first grade. <laughs> How? They told me, well, that you had to learn the alphabet and the times tables or something. I didn't want to learn all that. I remember my first day of school, first grade, I all, of course, I had to walk to school by myself. And I'm standing there and look at this big empty yard and these buildings, and I went, oh, my God, I've got to go in there. <laughs> Yeah. And so in, you knew in first it was grade, a trap. It was yeah, a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> yeah. And the good thing I never really paid attention in school, see. Because I was too busy looking at the boys. I was singing. I was doing sports. I took advantage of it. I had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> but you made it yours. Yes, you made yes, it. Yes. You said, what yes. was the title of one of your recent blogs? It's like um, Reclaiming the World, My Own. Oh, you, so you yes, can, yeah. Own you have to own it. Yeah, you have to own your yeah. world, own your life, because it yeah. is yours. And if you yes. make it divine, you're going to have a good life. It doesn't. You, you know what happens? All these people have tons of money. What happens? All they do is worry about their money. You will have enough. You have right. enough. I always have enough and more to share. Come on. Right. You. How much can you eat? Right. Yeah. This is you're talking about reclaiming our lives, reclaiming yeah. our life, yeah. and by focusing yeah. on what we're doing and how we feel, and the you know the the life we're creating for ourselves and the people that that surround us. I mean, they they're yeah, impacted. They can, learn, they can do it. All the things I accomplish in my life, I hope I got. It wasn't because I was special or did anything. I just didn't know any better not to go do it. And I knew yeah. I couldn't ask my folks for money and stuff. They didn't have it. So yeah. I, I, you know, I, I started as a little kid. I was selling newspapers to the bait store. 
so that they could wrap fish in it. They give me a nickel, you know, or I would, I would, I would, you know, shovel the uh, sand off the sidewalk to the beach that was like never ending, and I get the quarter maybe. And my, my, I knew with my dad, he dropped coins out of his pocket into the sofa. That was always money in there. Always, it's my bank account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. But you were. What you're also talking about is you were paying attention. You were yeah, listening, yeah. you were awake, mm-hmm. you were alive, mm-hmm. you were engaged. Mm-hmm. And a mm-hmm. lot of people, that's that's a big part of it, is that because the life has been so hard in, in this ma- mm-hmm. in this mm-hmm. world, mm-hmm. that people mm-hmm. find ways to check out, but that's not the that's way right. to check in. You want to no, check no, in. No, you, yeah, you got to check in, you got to go within. Start to watch how you function. Watch how the mind works. I tell you, observe. Don't just keep reacting to everything going on. Observe yourself. Observe what triggers you. Observe what catches you. Observe. And, and you know, it's like, what, what for all of us, one of the hardest things is when you get criticized. I remember when I first started getting articles that criticized me. I was in San Diego. The ministry was going great, you know. All of a sudden, the, the, people start writing, oh, you did this and that. And, and criti- it was horrible. It wasn't even true. But I was yeah. so heart struck. I went to bed. I think I cried in bed for two days. And I quit. Wow. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm out. I'm, go- I'm not going to help anybody anymore. I'm done. I can't stay there. I, and then I, then after a couple of days, you go, well, what else are you going to do? This is your <laughs> job. Get out of bed and get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That impulse, though, I love, though, that guidance because, you know, that's something that I feel as well a lot of the times when I'm down and out or I feel like I just got knocked down for whatever reason, mm-hmm. it doesn't take long before uh-huh. there's that impulse to get up, you know, go, <laughs> hit, go, go do something else. Go, exactly, go out in nature. Mm-hmm. Go, you know, do something else and shift the energy because right. we naturally are inclined to to not yes. take on the stuff of the theater if people will mm-hmm. just know that's not mine, that's not for me, that's mm-hmm. the person who was expressing that, that was their reality at the time, right? That's right. Then that's why mm-hmm. we have to know who we are because people are going right. to say all kinds of things about us, like you say, that ri- ridicule, ridiculous, they like to ridicule yeah. Yeah. us. And we know that's just a part of the theater, but I think there's something to be said also for, it goes back to where we started, they're doing that, we're doing this. They're doing that. That's I'm it. doing this. This is what yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, that's it. That really right. is it. Because now, what can you do? Yeah, that doesn't mean I just if there's somebody hurting somebody on the street, I won't go help or anything because they're doing that. But you also want to look before you before we act. That's what I'm working on. I'm not sure what I work on, what I do, what it will work for me. But it's like before we speak. Before we act, before we we say, okay, what are the ramifications of this action? Because this is a cause that will have an effect. Everything does. It will have a reaction. It will have an effect. And the cause is in the, is, the effect is in the cause, and the cause is in the effect. They're identical in a sense, but different. They're both identical yeah. and different. Okay. The mind can't handle that because it only handles like and dislike. It doesn't handle those together as the same because they are. It's both wow. yeah, like and dislike. Yeah, yeah. So just like every positive action also has a negative effect as well because it's the other side. You take any situation, very personal situation, uh, so a daughter. And... There's the, well, should I explain it? Should I go on this? You know what? She's doing that. I'm doing this. Yes. I don't need to go and try and change it. Who's never asked me a question or no has in, and, and to get into it and to start fixing it and making it work and get them to, because we've become really good at watching people to know, is he happy? Is he not happy? Does she have, is they mad at me? Did she get, I say the wrong, because what did I do? You know, we're constantly in this little thing. We have to get, be, you get beyond that by seeing that is the trap is pettiness, mundaneness. It's, it's like, it, it's this constant trying to be happy, but it's their fault that I'm not. 
No, it's your fault right. that you're not because you haven't found out how to be happy. You think happiness comes from getting something. No. Right. Happiness comes from giving. Yes. It's a whole different deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a whole different vibration, right? Oh, right. Yeah, absolutely. I think we are in this timeline of like reclaiming more of what yep. we're talking about, of who you are oh, yeah. and choosing you and choosing yeah. your perceptions over the opinions yeah. and the energies of everybody else around you, the criticisms. Like mm-hmm. this is a time it's, you know, you might call it a time of uh, maybe it's purification. I think it's a time. Oh, I think of, it is. Yeah. Incineration. Pur- yeah. Purify yourself. So. There's work to be done, folks, but there's it's worth it because this is the greatest work in the world. There is nothing better than you to learn and be and take your power back and live it and share it and 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 be living now in the spiritual world, regardless of what they want to live. That's not my world. That's right. And this is what it is involved in living mm-hmm. an authentic life and expressing right. the gifts mm-hmm. that you bring through time with you that you have. But if we're so afraid of what everybody else is thinking and what they're doing, and are we going to miss out, you know, that expression? This is whole life school. That's what yes. you call it. That's whole what the whole school. life school. Yes. The whole right. yes. yes. With our yes. friend Elizabeth. Hers is love into wholeness. That's Whole yes. fly school, isn't that something? Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. Now you want to associate with other people. Get the start studying with us or whoever you want to get going on it, and then start bringing forth your talents, your abilities. You got to know how to prosper during this time in every way. Everything has frequency in this reality. It's all, yes. and it goes back and forth. It's all. It's in the, one of the seven Hermetic axioms. Absolutely. Everything yeah. has vibration. Everything. Yes. So that vibration is what it is. And so when you turn the lights on, you see the objects that were in consciousness in their form. That's it. That's right. the form that the consciousness took. When it goes, this is this is the yeah. solid place where it ends up. Wow. Well, maybe that's also another meaning of dark to light. We always think about it's like transmuting the darkness of this world Mm -hmm. back into light. But that also Mm -hmm. means like manifesting form from the formless, coming from the darkness back into the light, meaning it takes form, what we vision. You want to be engaged. This This is the invitation we're offering to everybody. When you listen to Terry and I talk this way and Mm -hmm. enter this stream of consciousness, right? Come join us. Come play with us. us. Yeah, because yes. we, we the things we've done and all we can we it's easy. See, that's why mentoring is so good. The difference between a mentor, a coach, and a counselor, a mentor has actually done all those things. A coach right. may have done none of it, but they're telling you you could do it, keep your agreement, did it, that's fine, that's for somebody who needs that, that's fine. And then a counselor, mm-hmm. they they're most of they could be screwed up themselves completely and they don't even know how the mind works. They learned all of that in school. <laughs> That's an interesting distinguishment, you know, where you talk about the mentor. I also believe we're going to go back to more of, uh, as things continue to shift, is apprenticeships, where you learn uh, something It's best. wonderful. Right. Not all the time, but mostly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always can, what would you say? Improve. Yes. Yes, yes. Your understanding, your realization, your the quality of what of what you're, you're doing. And there is an yes. ex- authentic spiritual world. That is behind the curtain where mm. your reality is being projected on the morphogenetic sh- shield, field around you that's taking yeah. your reflection back at you so you can get where you're at and make your changes. Right. God, that's so profound. That's so mm-hmm. profound, Terry. Mm-hmm. It's I true. So much fun with you, Marie. You're so, I, so neat. I know. I is my pal, my pal, Marie. <laughs> we do have fun and we invite people spiritual work can be serious work but it can also be a tremendous amount of fun and we want to remind people mm-hmm. of that right <laughs> yeah you can have fun if you surround yourself with people like this you can learn and grow and do the big work mm-hmm. and you can also have a good time yep right yep yeah all the For sure. it's an even better time all the time because you are, aren't agitated 
by yes. whatever's going on out there and others. Others can't can't pull your chain, so to speak. That's mm -hmm. right. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, because like you and I we work we work well together. That's how we want like that that to me that's I use this when I work in the ministry. Uh because uh, I studied what other people did, and there was this one man who was the head of a big public PR firm, uh, oh. and and he, uh, he was like, they invented the ad for the Hathaway shirt, where the guy had a black patch over his eye. This is back years ago, but he had mm. a philosophy, and it was, know where you're a genius. Okay, so you, you take a look at where you're a genius. I mean... You know, you know, there's certain things you do naturally. It's where you're called to, and 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 it's where you okay. Now to do what it is you want to do, your project, whatever that may be, that project. So you 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 then um um, what are the other things that need to be done? Who need, there are different jobs that need to be done to do. So you want to find people who are geniuses in each of those area, then yeah. you align together and now get out of their way. Correct. Yes. And yes. that works. It takes a while sometimes to find them. Don't be discouraged, I'm saying, if it takes some time because you're you're changing your whole programming to really liberate yourself from this and to empower yourself in every way. You have to basically be willing to face that everything you've ever learned is a lie. And that that's for big... some people, they based everything on that. Look, and that's the problem that intellectualism is, is just like fanaticism, is the scourge of the world. Yes. Because it's a yes. feeling place. It's a feeling. It's a mother. And what's right. a good father? Oh, my God. He loves his children or her children. We, whatever you want, be that. Yes. There you go. It's a feeling. And you know what? With feelings, you can be there now. The, the, are, yes. Right. Absolutely. When people are focused yes. on the on the actual physical nature of what they're desiring, you get lost mm -hmm. in that. And you can feel like you don't yes. have it in your hand. But if you That's just right. feel it, you're already having it in the feeling. That's, That's right. Like that, it's such That's an art right. form. But we're all. Yes, it, is. it is. That's spiritual magic. Yes. Faking magic is done by illusion, repetition, trances, suggestion, illusion, yeah. sleight of hand, mirrors, numbers, mm -hmm. letters, formulas, because they don't have spiritual magic. It'll look like magic, but it looks dark and ugly in the sense of, I don't mean dark, I like the darkness because it's beautiful, I love it, it's so dark and I thought, because the real darkness is the place within of creativity, absolutely, Wow. light doesn't turn to dark and dark doesn't turn to light, you know it's light because of dark and dark you know, uh, you know it's dark because of light, it's comparison in a sense, so we want right. to call this good and that bad, but we're judging this from our programming and what it is that we feel that. So one of the things really looking at, and I'm working, it, it, it's, it's going to take some time because it, it, you want, you're changing habits. You're changing yes. patterns and habits. Is they're doing that. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this. So I'm working at watching how many, whenever my mind starts going, and I, I'll start, oh, it, it just starts. And you just go, well, over there. And then I go, like I'll say, or Michael will say, whatever. Well, quickly, I go, oh, I let that go right now. Or you say something, oh, that's not where I'm at. Okay, oh, good, 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 go, 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 go. And then go right back to where I'm at, where I want to be. Is because if you're doing that, you're taking the power and the energy you could be using to manifest your life. But you're too right. busy. We're too, me, you, me. Uh, uh, I'm not criticizing anybody. So it's what I've done, what I do. So I'm not. No, but that's this is such good insight, Terry, because yes, a lot, we all have to learn how to drop the stuff that isn't ours, yes, and we right. have to learn how to discipline our very active, yes. overactive yes. mind sometimes so that the spirit in us can feel what it is that's we right. really want to be participating in. That's and right. a lot of people that's want right. to know how to do this. Yes. 
And then they have to learn from someone who does know. That's what we know and what we do and what we use and what we give people because this is what we've done because it's like that's the difference between a mentor, a coach, and a psychologist or a psychiatrist. It's very powerful when you – this is what you're talking about when people have lived it, when something in their life Mm -hmm. called them to put it into Mm -hmm. practice and master it, right? Yes, you're so good, yes. Think that. Yes. People, that's who I want to, I want to be apprenticed by people who, yes. I want to be an yes. apprentice of people who have already yes. gone and searched and this, learned. Yes, and that's won. why I studied with my great teacher in India for years before he yes. passed. The, 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 Maharaji, you know, because you usually call your teacher by a nickname you, and you don't call him by the regular, the, you know, name. But anyway, oh yeah, because he's a master. He'd written yeah. 85 books. He, he he was he had no fear. I was around him all the time. I I, I yeah. I was really happy, really really happy, because he's such a beautiful soul. See, and I and yeah. there's it's not just stuff in a book. It's not reading. It's studying that works. Not to, oh I read it. I read. I remember how people used to say oh yeah I read Ernest Holmes. I read all these things, but they're not manifesting it. They don't have it inside. They still got the same issues. Because they don't have so the yeah. feeling. They don't no, have, they don't the, have feeling. the feeling. Mm-hmm. They don't have the mind. Yeah, they're letting the word. See, if you don't know what words do, you can't get there. Yeah. I have a whole thing on the words. A whole thing. You got, You have to have a foundation of it or you don't know what we're talking about. Right. Maybe mm-hmm. that's another podcast that will focus more and break down yeah. the words, right? Yes. Yeah. Very good. Yes. Yeah, I'd love Wouldn't that, that all right, oh, my love, this well, has been such wonderful. A, such a oh, good we, You know, we got, always. yes, we want to attract our people. That means people who, so that we could all start working together as a look, as it's, um, what we're doing here is to find our people, our tribe members, our mothers, our, our fathers and all that are in this with us and who who have compassion for animals and all of this. And these are and, and people who are really willing to grow. And then we're all we're empowering them and then they'll empower their people to empower their people to empower their people to their family. This is what we'll do as mothers. Because yeah. we're the only place we're all going to align is when we care about those children besides yeah. our own and our families. That the authentic now is going to come forth in each of us and we, each of us are living a beautiful life and helping others to have the same in their own yeah. way. And so that yeah. is. Oh, we love you, just, beautiful love people you. out there. Thank you for being and trekking with us. Communicate with us. Ask us questions. We have a yes. wealth of knowledge, but if you don't ask, how can we bring it forth? You know, and, right. and it's there for you. I'm grateful for all my teachers, all the yes. books I've read, all the therapies I've gone through. Everything was just necessary for whatever that was. And I'm right here right now, and life's just getting better. Woohoo! <laughs> I like it. That's beautiful, Terry. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, for this beautiful connection. Thank you to our listeners who spend time with us and share yes, this yes. with other people and gather yes, and have yes. these conversations with their friends. That's right. And that's right. Yep. And we'll see everybody again soon for another podcast, maybe focusing on words and word magic yes. and how we can wake up. And, and pro- yes, and prospering you and everything, which means to go forth with enthusiasm and be true to yourself and live a bountiful, joyous uh, uh, life. Because it's yes. there. It's who we are. You're supposed to. Yes. Your life begins at bliss. That's why I wrote mm. Live Your Bliss. You have to start at bliss. Bliss means you not thinking, but knowing and being and feeling right there. And wherever there you is. go is holy ground because you're there. Wow. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Absolutely beautiful. Well, go forth with enthusiasm, Terry, as I know you do. <laughs> and everybody and else. You this this next month and we'll see you again in March yeah in April in April yes yep and you're wonderful message. Marie that you do this and who you are I'm so grateful to know you because it's so you. much fun that we have together and to our God work and it's just wonderful to have that's what you want to have a team of people doesn't mean yes. you have to spill all rules and right no no you've got to have a team where you know you've got the support you've you got see? the support and you play yes. and you play yes and you play Yes. Right. All right, my yeah. sweetie. So good. Thank you.